Page High has dealt with more than enough loss recently. WFMY News 2's Jess Winters learned this is the fourth Page High School student to die this school year. She joins us now with more on how the students and community are handling all this loss. There's just no other way to put it. This has been an awful year for Page High School. Guilford County School Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras was out on the scene of the deadly drowning today, and she said exactly that. Just two months ago, Sincere Davis, a star football player, died after he was shot. I was just on Page High's campus today. I saw the number 26 is still everywhere. His coaches were in tears when we talked to them. Back in November, another student death. 15-year-old Rodney Maynard, a sophomore at Page High, got into a car accident. I sat down with his mom right after it happened, and she was inconsolable. The district has confirmed to us today marks the fourth student death at Page High School this year. I talked to psychotherapist Nanette Funderburk about how these teenagers should be handling the immense amount of sadness. These students, these staff, these, this faculty, this county, we kind of need to baby ourselves a little bit because this is without question uh, hard. Dr. Funderburg stressed that parents should be paying extra attention to their kids' needs and looking for certain signs. Look for the extremes, look for the, the people who are just totally sullen, totally withdrawn, but then also look for the, the total opposite end, look for the people who are like, oh, nothing's wrong, it's just another day. Dr. Funderburg says throughout the grieving process, you'll see social media at its best. You can find an entire community reaching out with thoughts and prayers, and it can make you feel connected in such an isolating time.